हेलो गाइस यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन मित्तल एजुकेशन पॉइंट यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ अभी मित्तल आई एम थर्ड प्रोफेम बी स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम पीजीएमएस रोहतक एंड आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे कम्युनिकेशन वाइवास टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन मेथड्स एंड हाउ टू प्रिस्क्राइब मेडिसिन प्रॉपर यूज ऑफ प्रिस्क्राइब मेडिसिन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इवेल्युएशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फॉर्म्स एंड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू यूज दैट इंजेक्शंस और मेडिकेशंस व्हाट वी हैव like first of all we will start about communication to the patient non verbal communication with the patient is of eye contact facial expression voice tone body position body posture touch if you touching a patient how are you touching a patient like any everything leads to a way of communication eye contact like patient is talking to you and you are busy in your phone ipad etc facial expression you are into the patient or into the patient's things into the patient talks nothing voice tone if you are like angry soft calm whatever voice tone body position if you are just like sitting like this body posture sitting sleeping and the patient is talking the patient will lose its compliance body posture is very important how you are you sitting how are you behaving with the patient etc active listening is very important like if you are ask if the patient is saying something you have to not only listen you have to think on it also open end questions summarize in the last after in last you have to like aap ramesh ho aapne mere ko ye bataya aapko ye headache hai ye hai complaint aapko ye complaints hai itne din se complaint hai kya aap mere ko chhod to nahi raha hai is type se you have to summarize in the last and ask for the patient to repeat fir aap patient ko bolte ho ki repeat karo isko aapne jaise history li to aap us ki chhod pooch rahe ho and when you are saying a patient like summarize in the last ki baba aapko ye dawai char din leni hai do do do, do subah leni hai do shaam ko leni hai doodh ke saath leni hai ye pani ke saath leni hai fir aap patient ko bolte ho repeat karo this is very important in communication and this information i have given to you why because in exam the examiner will say i am your patient try communicate with me and you have to behave then we have checklist in checklist we have first of all we have oral tablet oral tablet is take adequate quantity of water sit straight put tablet and drink sublingual place under tongue don't crush chew and swallow spit when desired effect is attained buckle in buckle place in the buckle pouch don't crush chew and swallow on okay it will dissolve ultimately subcutaneous roll we will take example of insulin roll insulin vial between palm of hand several time don't shake shake nahi karna just like this then pinch up the skin needle insertion pinch up the skin like this then needle insertion aapko karni hai needle insertion ke baad push the plunger down hold the syringe needle then place for 5 second let go of the pinch skin let go remove the needle slowly if you see blood and of or any clear fluid which is insulin clear it needle went jahan pe wo needle insert hui thi press the area for 5 to 8 second don't rub then we have eye drop eye drop is like this lie flat head tilted back look upward pull lower eyelid to make pouch tip shouldn't touch the eye apply the medicine close the eye for 2 minutes don't shut the eye too, too tight or too light remove excess fluid with a tissue wait for 5 minute if another medication is to be applied and repeat okay आपको समझाना कैसे है पेशेंट को कि बाबा आपको लेटना है आपको सीधा लेटना है आपके सिर को पीछे रखना है फिर आप अपनी एक हाथ से अपने हाथ को ऐसे नीचे करोगे और उसकी जो जगह बनेगी वहां पे आपको एक बूंद दवाई डालनी है आपको जो उसकी टिप होती है वो आपके हाथ आँख में टच नहीं करनी है आपको पेशेंट को उसी की लैंग्वेज में कम्युनिकेट करना है आपको जो एग्जामिनर है उसको समझाना है कि आपको उसी की लैंग्वेज में कम्युनिकेट करना है एग्जामिनर इज सेंग आई एम ओनली टू हिंदी और इंग्लिश एनी और रीजनल लैंग्वेज जस्ट गो विद इट then ear drops ear drops warm the ear drop in the hand for several minute because ear is sensitive till head sideways lie on one side and ear upward gently pull the ear lobe ear lobe ko pull karne se we have a straight ear canal apply the amount of drug dose prescribed wait for 5 minutes before turning to the other 5 minute use cotton wool if only told to okay if recommended by manufacturer or if you have to prescribe in both ears just wait for 5 minutes then till then put in this then wait for 5 to 10 minutes and cle- after cleaning go for the second drops in nasal drop or nasal spray we have uh, mostly same 
blow the nose sit down tilt head strongly backward or lie okay if you are using drops you have to go like this if you are using spray like then like this in spray just put the dropper push like this like strongly backward or lie or slightly forward and shake the spray insert the tip in the nostrils spray instill medication close another nostril and mouth sit up for after a few seconds then like this the drop will drip in the pharynx repeat for other uh, another nostrils and rinse and boil with rinse the tip and dropper with boiled water to prevent infections then trash double patch this is very important clean and dry the area like if you are going to place like behind pinna of which trash double patch or which which medication is applied before pinna ansu comment me clean and dry the ansu clean and dry the area of application completely don't touch the drug side when you are opening the patch don't touch the drug side place on the skin like this place on the skin and like this you place on the skin with three fingers and rub the edges to seal and it is placed okay check whether it is there after bath or bath when you are bathing check after that it persist or not if it is gone then repeat it okay and how to discard is this is very important you have to take it and this is the drug side lettuce so let's fold like this the drug side should be in and all the edges should be sealed with its own okay then put it in dustbin etc in suppositories moisten the suppositories with cold water do not open and then put it in cold water etc because it will melt away lie on your side pull up your knee lie on your side pull up your knee your position will be like this this is your head this is your hips this is your knee and this okay gently insert the suppository round and first into the back passages remain lying down for several minutes wash your hands try not to have bowel movements for several hours or during first hour only rota inhalers rota inhalers are for inhalation route take rota cap insert the clear transparent end in the hole of rota inhaler push it inside till it up to level with the top of the hole hold the rota hel rota inhaler vertically rota inhaler ko aapko vertically hold karna hai usko jo hole hota hai usko cap lagani hai then usko aapko completely aise rotate karna hai the capsule will open it will open the capsule cuff as much possible as possible first of all you cuff and clear the passages gently breathe out Place the lips tightly around the mouth. Just like completely as a hold, curl in and tilt the head backward slightly and just suck away full out. Breathe in thorough as your mouth as quickly as and as deep and quick as possible. Continue to take full deep breath. Hold your breath for some seconds, about ten seconds. This allow the medication to deposit on the airway. Resume normal breathing. Rinse your mouth with warm water. Why? To prevent candidiasis. Oral thrush. Okay. After each use, pull the two half of the rota inhaler apart, throw the capsule, and just rinse it. Also done. Then we have meter dose inhaler in MDI. Remove the inhaler cap, shake the inhaler, hold the inhaler upright like this. This will be the position of your inhaler. With this finger up, then hold in this like and I say, put mouthpiece and breathe deeply, firmly. Press the canister. simultaneously in inhale fully go deep into lung like you have to press and inhale as it like this iv drips this is the most important question and it on it sometime it all only only this is there for iv okay in iv drips what we do for drug like dopamine dobutamine quinine which have to be given in large way large quantity procedure first of all give your introduction after hand hygiene gives gloves wearing explain procedure to the patient check for the iv drip and the bottle draw the curtains 
leakage checker after check leakage flow clarity clean the entry port of iv bag alcohol swab, with alcohol swab insert the drip set then insert the drip set hang the bag and the drip set on the stand but let check for the drip set is not touching the ground hold the drip set on the bottle itself check for the drip chamber remove air bubble from the tubing and many student makes mistake at here how to remove air bubble at this some student they by pinching the pipe some students say anything anything and blah blah just answer is take the other end of the drip and drip set put it like this and start the drip chamber the ro ro roller the fluid will come and wash the whole needle and let's spill some few drops of the fluid and it will clear all the air in the pipe Perform hand hygiene via gloves, uncover the arm completely, ask the patient to relax, support his arm below the vein, apply tonic wet and look for a suitable vein, clean the site using alcohol swab, form circular motion like this, outside, to prevent and erode all, in, all infections. Pull the cap from the needle, keep the cap aside and don't throw it away. Stabilize the vein by pulling the skin out like this, then we go like this. And with the non-dominant aptness, you have taut the vein, insert the needle and cannula at an angle of 35 degree, puncture the skin, move the needle slightly, then with then parallel to the skin, just go like this. Hold the cannula as, as you would hold a syringe. When blood appears in the cannula, lower the angle of the needle as such it will parallel to the skin surface. Push the cannula 2 mm further into the vein. Fix the needle and push the cannula little, little further. Remove the needle while pressing at the site of insertion and prevent bleeding. Like the cannula is there. Just like if the cannula is there, just hold above the insertion piece. And you when you remove the stellate part, it will not bleed because you have tightly pressed the vein. Discard the syringe in the dustbin for sharp waste only. You untie the tourniquet, clean the end of the cannula sticking out of the skin and alcohol swab. Connect the IV tubing with cannula hub. Secure the cannula to the skin surface by adhesive tape. Start the IV fluid. Check for the pain or swelling in areas surrounding the cannula. If present, stop the fluid, remove the cannula. Otherwise, set the drop rate according to the medication and the physician notes. Communicate to the patient about the completion of the procedure. Remove the gloves, perform hand hygiene. And just done. Then what is drip factor rate? What is drip drop? This is number of drops in one ml of fluid is called drip factor and drip drop rate. This is the cannula. This is the flashback chamber. This is needle. This is catheter. This is bushing. Catheter. This is needle. One minute. This is needle. This is catheter wings. This is injection port cap site. Needle grid. Flashback chamber here. What is the importance of flashback chamber? When you insert needle, blood drop appear. Confirm veiny puncture. Okay. This is liver lock plug used to connect drip set. Valve bushing. This is injection port cap used to inject injections. Mid IV dripping. Then this is our IV drip set. This is spike poke inside drip bottle. This is air vent. This is drip chamber, C4 drop rate, drop per second a minute, then this is filter for filtering solution, this is tube, air by flushing, removal of air by flushing, then this is latex free connector, this is lever lock, this is the needle or cannula we can use. This is cap of needle, this is roller clamp used for speed setting. Okay, this is rota healer, this is the mouthpiece.
this is capsule entry port this is chamber this is roller okay it will the capsule will break here the dust part the over the particle will be there it will go from this and you have to open this and throw away this is the canister index finger on this आपको दो फिंगर से ऐसे होल्ड करना है दिस इज द कैप दिस इज द माउथ पीस जस्ट लाइक दिस द कैप शुड बी लाइक द कैप इज क्लोजिंग दिस एंड द दिस शुड बी प्रेस्ड एंड फ्रॉम हियर सब हियर साइमल्टेनियसली सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पैटर्न्स एंड रूट्स थैंक यू गाइस